Well, all right. Uh, this is going to be a little bit of a different video. It's a long time video in the making that I've wanted to do for a while. Um, if you guys have been following me since the actual start of my channel, the first big video that I ever made was analyzing the Destiny 2 gameplay reveal in May or June of uh, 2017. Uh, I've been playing Destiny since the original game. I got the original game two or three days after it came out on Xbox. I had no way, I didn't know anything about it before it came out. But it was just around my birthday when I was like 16 years old. I saw the commercial for it. I was like, dang, I really want that game. So I went and bought it and it kind of changed a lot of my life for a while. Um, I've literally played Destiny almost every single day with a couple of breaks in between for DLCs that I didn't care for that much, like Curse of Osiris and House of Wolves kind of here and there, but it's kind of fun. Um, I met a lot of people that I play with today. Like, I've been playing with them for four or five years now. My, some of my better friends now that I, I don't actually even know them in real life. I've never actually met them before, but I met them through the LFG system on Destiny, and we played the entire way through uh, Taken King, Rise of Iron, Age of Triumph at the end of Destiny 1. We played Destiny 2 on Xbox, and then I made our move to PC. We had a clan together and everything. It's, it's really done a lot for me, and as much as I love doing this Minecraft stuff, and I'll let you guys know now, there are more glitches coming in the woodwork, there are more debunkings coming in the woodwork, but for right now, I thought I would take it to a sign that I really want to talk about, and since Destiny is such a big part of my gaming experience, I wanted to talk about the new expansion coming out in September, Shadowkeep. If you haven't been keeping up with it, and if you've never played Destiny before, then there's some good news. Destiny 2 is becoming free to play in September. It's going to be on Steam instead of Blizzard, because Bungie just split with Activision a couple months ago, and that's a really good thing. Uh, free to play, you can play all the old stories missions up to the Forsaken campaign which is the paid DLC you can get to all the destinations you can do anything you want I would definitely 100% recommend checking it out this is my favorite game of all time there have been other games before like retro games that are my favorite game of all time this game has been so ever evolving and part of my life that I just wanted to put out there my wants and needs for Shadow Keep coming out in September I have a few things here that I want to talk about and I'm gonna make it short and sweet hopefully not too long because I can ramble on and on and on about this game. So let's get started. My once for Destiny 2 Shadow Keep. First on the list, I loved the Forsaken campaign for Destiny 2. It was darker, it was more involved, and I want that kind of storyline for Shadow Keep. I mean, obviously, we're going to the moon, we're getting all these crazy little nightmare things that they're inventing. Um, they're bringing back like psychological, it's almost like a psychological horror aspect where the nightmares of old raid bosses and stuff like that, like Skolas and Crota and I can't remember what the other, oh, it's uh, Tanix. They are all though, coming back as these nightmare incantations of themselves that are really scary. I like the scary, like, dark stuff that Destiny's been doing recently. The only thing I don't want from it is that terrible sad boy music that we had in the tower after Cade died for, like, four or five weeks. I mean, it was a sad time Cade died. Cade was one of my favorite characters, even though I'm a titan. I loved him. But uh, let's not, let's dial back on the sad boy music. The next thing I really want for Shadow Keep is I want some really, really cool moon themed armor. I mean, we had some good stuff from Destiny 1. A lot of the stuff that you get from the moon was kind of moon themed, but I want like seriously, like I want like space rocks, I want alien, I want style, like Area 51 style, like armor. I want cool, like glowing effects. I want stuff that's like purples and blues and like black and I want jutting like rocks from my titan arms and stuff like that and cool stuff for the warlock like green hell mouth looking stuff I really think the aesthetic of the moon is kind of insane and that also brings me to one I the only exotic that I want to return for this entire DLC is the taco knot helmet from destiny one it's literally just a space helmet it gave tracking to all of your rockets and not all rockets have tracking in destiny 2 so I definitely think it'd be a really really good addition to all of this I love the moon theme it's so it's so familiar to us, but at the same time, it's kind of foreign because there's a bunch of new stuff on there that we haven't seen before, even though they're remaking most of it. There's definitely a lot of cool stuff that we can get from this. A lot of good hive-themed armor that I'd like to see. Talking still with armor and guns, I want to see, and I know a lot of people don't like this kind of stuff, but I want to see reskinned versions of the Crotus End armor from Destiny 1. A Titan helmet looking kind of like Crotus' face with a jutting uh, crown that he kind of wears, but it's also attached to him. I like that. I liked the arms. I liked that moon stuff. I loved the... I think it was the Hunter or Warlock armor, I can't remember, that I liked more. But definitely the Titan armor, because that's what I'm most familiar with. I want that. I want those style weapons with, like, the big old holes in it and the Hive. I like Hive-themed stuff. So going on with the moon stuff, I want the Crota's End armor kind of reskinned into the game. Maybe not as raid armor, because raid armor is supposed to be special every time around, and people really don't like it when you reskin it. 
But I know there's um there's a Vault of Glass style armor that's in like the Titan helmets in the game, and you got it from Nessus or something like that. I would definitely like to see Crota's and armor reskinned and back into the game. So along with these nightmares, um, apparently they're just supposed to be these psychological things in our mind. They're not really real, but they're kind of real because the Hive can make them into reality. I want to see them turned into guardians that we haven't seen. I want them to see like our Osiris as our Saint 14s, maybe even Takio 3s. Uh, fallen guardians from the uh titan strike with savathun i'd like to see all of those people come back as these nightmares so we can finally fight against guardians we kind of got that in rise of iron and i'm gonna talk about rise of iron in a couple of minutes here about how i want uh some parallels between that and this dlc but i really want to fight against guardians like one-on-one -on -one for the first time in pve situations and not just pvp situations i think it'd be really cool if these nightmares became guardians that we knew from the lore in the past so alongside of those fighting guardians from the past i want a rise of iron style killing of the fire team because eris had a very prominent fire team i mean they all died to crota she was the only one that stayed alive and i like to see us go up against them in that situation so instead of instead of fighting like big like uh, like, SIVA-fied versions of uh, Lord Saladin's people from uh, Destiny 1 and Rise of Iron. I'd like to see just regular Guardians turned into these killing machines of the Hive. I'd like to see them in, like, Hive armor and stuff like that, but I don't want to see them huge and, like, misformed and everything. i just like to see them all put up in Hive armor and fight against them, and, like, as the final battle for the story mission. Maybe not the same as Rise of Iron. I know that's a little too similar for some people, but I'd definitely like to see that involved in this. Lastly, I just want this DLC to go out big. I want it to go directions it's never gotten before. I want to see new stuff. I know they're doing like these finishing moves. I want things similar to Destiny 1's moon, but I do want them to go away into a new direction. Destiny 2's big motto when it first came out in the reveal is that they want it to be better they wanted to evolve on things and i definitely think bungie has the power to evolve on all of these things now because they've broken away from activision the act i really really think activision was holding them back and what they wanted to do and i know they're making great strides to make this a lot of a better experience for all of us and i'm really really hoping we could see all of that i am so so excited for shadow keep and those are just a few of the things that i want to see i thought those would be big topics i the kind of things i haven't heard anyone else talk about like i know there's the destiny news channels out there that put out stuff, but I haven't heard anyone really say what they want to see in Shadowkeep. I mean, I've heard a couple of videos of Datto talking about Shadowkeep, and I love Datto, and I love his stuff, but I haven't heard a lot of wants for Shadowkeep. They're all keeping it kind of safe. They're like, yeah, we just want to see what we've seen before, and we'll see what Bungie's going to give us, but I want to put out there what I want to see, because Bungie is really good at community feedback and listening to people, except for PvP. I'm not going to talk about that. Those aren't my strengths in talking about that kind of stuff, but... Bungie's really good at listening to that kind of stuff, and I am a super, super fan of all of this. And I hope I can make some of you guys interested in the game, too. If you guys want to see more Destiny 2 content on the channel, you'll definitely get that when Shadowkeep drops. I would like to start doing it now, but everyone's kind of seen everything in the game. If something big happens in the game, like, I don't know, the like Gjallarhorn comes back or something like that for the Solar Week, like it's kind of been rumored, I would definitely do something on that. But other than that, I'll keep it to a minimum right now, and as soon as Shadowkeep comes out, I do want to start doing Destiny stuff again. That's originally what I wanted to do, but I can definitely think I can do it uh, mixing it with the Minecraft stuff. Obviously, I'm not going to go away from any of that. I'm going to stay where I am. But I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of my wants and uh, wants, not needs, because you don't really need any of this stuff for the DLC. But these are just my wants for Destiny 2 Shadowkeep. If you guys have any other things you guys want to talk about, hit me up in the comments. I'll have really good discussions with all you guys about this stuff. This is my favorite game. I love to talk about it. And I'll talk about it for 8 minutes and 55 seconds like I have so far. I'm going to let you guys go, though. Thank you guys so much for watching getting your daily dose of vitamin P. If you guys want more daily doses of vitamin P, please check out the rest of the videos on my channel. I gotta start talking slower in this but if i talk slower it's gonna go out to 10 minutes and i don't want to do that just for the ad revenue even though i don't get it all right thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys next time peace out and take care